Hello and welcome to the channel. I hope you are all well. We are suffering some inclement weather at the moment, so being at the vice is a good alternative. And today we're going to tie a classic with a slight variation. And uh, it's quite an easy tie, like a lot of the classics. And it's a UV Hersia Nymph. Now the materials that we're going to use are pretty simple and I'll give them to you as we go along. In the vise, I have a size 14 light nymph hook with a 3.3 silver bead, and I'll be using 10 light beige thread. So let's just mount the, the bead a little. These classic flies are, are called classics because they have stood the test of time. They are forever ad infinitum and they catch fish. Right now, because this is a, uh, a fly for slightly deeper water and probably cooler water too, I'm going to put on a little bit of lead to help to get it down. This is a fine lead and it is a 34 gauge. Not too many winds, just up to the bead, like so. Got some thread wraps over the top and helicopter it off. And the same with the other end. Yeah. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there just to hold it in place. In fact, that looks like quite a lot of glue. So I'll take some of that off. And put some wraps on the top just to bind it down. Right now, the tail for this nymph is going to be uh, Coctillon, medium pardo. And I've got some here. Um, we don't need many, probably half a dozen or so. Just snip those off. And we'll tie those into length. Shorten that up just a little bit. and wind down to the rear of the hook shank, like so, and trim off the excess butts. Now we will be using a rib, but um, because it's UV, you don't need to have anything sparkly. So I'm going to use some monofilin, and uh, this happens to be uh, Stren, uh, it's the three pound test. I'll just wind that in, pull it to length, wind that down, like so. Right, as I said, it's uh, UV hairs here, so I'll just uh, pick some out. And you can see the UV in there, I hope, sparkling, and dab that on. Now this will be brushed out, so you can put on a, a healthy noodle. Just wind it on towards the bead, like so. That should be enough for the moment. Take that excess off and put on the rib. I'm doing it in the opposite direction that I wound on the hairs here. And 
and tie that off. And trim it up. Right now I'm going to brush that out, as I said, to give it plenty of uh, movement and that shaggy look. Right, now for the collar, I'm going to use um, some partridge. And uh, as you know, I have uh, full partridge here, and I'm going to use this gray speckled uh, partridge feather at the side, which would be, in actual fact, the breast of the of the bird. So I'll just take out a nice feather. Yeah, that looks good. And I'll just take off all of this fluff at the bottom. Get it out of the way. Some of these lower fibers. There. And we have that. And now we're going to pull those fibers back. Now I'm going to use uh, some hackle pliers here just to get it down the middle, like so, and pull these fibers back. And I'm just going to snip off that point so that we've got something to tie into. And tie in the partridge. Right, now you're only going to need one turn of this partridge. It is, as I say, only a collar. And because they're quite dense, it's not like CDC. One turn be enough and tie that off like so and trim up the stalk. I'll pull these fibers back and bind them down like so. Now I am going to put a little more hairs here on there to create a collar. To make this a, a thinner version. Like so, should be enough. Take off the excess. And before I tie it off, I'm just going to put some glue onto the uh, thread. Like so. I'll tie off the fly. And trim up. I shall continue to brush this out a little bit, including the partridge. And there you have your variation on the original. Plenty of movement to attract the fish. And as I say, it's for cooler water and for uh, deeper flows. It's a fine alternative and it's really worth having a few in your box. I hope you enjoyed the time and thanks for viewing. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.